Okay, so first of all, it's important for me to state that these tips and suggestions are for any and all drivers, forklift operators, what have you. Southern California, Pico Rivera, okay? Rules and all that stuff are subject to change based on your location, okay? And what hub that you're working out of. So, with that said, upper right hand corner of your screen, what every LTL driver must have. A couple of things that I did not include in there, right? Like this lighter with duct tape wrapped around it. This is how I've been carrying my lighters for years. As some of you know, I have survival content on here. How to fabricate a well-structured survival kit. Upper right hand corner of your screen, you'll find how to make a survival kit, the tendencies of survivability. You can check that out. Another thing that I forgot to include in the LTL, what every LTL driver must have, is this headlamp, okay? This one's a black diamond, right? These things range anywhere from 20 bucks all the way to a little over 100. I like black diamond. I've been using this one here for years. That's great for when you're, you know, driving out there at nighttime to ensure that the locking jaws are all the way around the kingpin, what have you, just to be seen when you're getting out of your truck on the street. If need be, you know, you've got this, plus of course your reflective vest, all your PPE, right? Black diamond, all this stuff will pop out in the description box below, okay? Underneath where it hits subscribe, there's a description box. Open that up. Make sure you guys are liking, make sure you're subscribing. Thank you guys, we're at 2,000 subscribers now. This Gerber, this has come in really handy for me, you guys. Got this on Amazon. It is made by Gerber, right? This thing's great. Comes in really handy, very sharp, so be careful. I like how it's, uh, you know, little safety mechanism right here so you don't cut yourself. But um, very handy, you know. Definitely get yourself a good headset. Check out my review, upper right hand corner of your screen on this Bluetooth Aeropex bone conduction headset. Best headsets I ever owned. As you all know, some of you know, I come from over the road. So the entire time I was over the road, I had these bad boys right here and they work great, man. Some people complain that they can't hear the person they're talking to. Hey, if their phone sucks, I'm sorry. That's probably the way it's gonna be. You'll hear better if you pop in an earplug. The whole point is that there's no cords. You pop it in and that's it, you're good to go. So, if you're not on a bid, meaning that you're not on a set schedule because you're one of the bottom guys like myself, then you're going to be what's called a percenter. Now, as a percenter, you will be on call. More than likely, you'll be on midnight shift, straight up. You're gonna be on midnight shift, that's the way it's going to be and you have to roll with those punches until you accrue seniority and quote unquote pay your dues, like they say. So be ready for that. You know, it's worth it. These benefits and everything else that ABF has to offer for you as a city driver or forklift operator is worth it, okay? I'll tell you firsthand, it, it is worth it. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't. If you're a family man, it's more than worth it, so. As a single guy, you make your own decision. You want to go and pull tanks or whatever and think that you're making more per hour, go for it. But as far as the pension goes, we end up getting paid more than some of those guys. Just saying, okay? Now, with all of that said, you make your own decision. Do what you want to do. This is your life, man. You know, this is, it's your decision what you want to do. Okay? But when that phone rings you need to make sure that you answer uh, I messed up today and my phone was dead you know I had it playing on YouTube one of those um you know those nice little melodies to go to sleep for my daughter and uh, we've been having an electrical issue that a electrician's gonna come over and check out and basically my phone died I called I called them back an hour later I guess after they had called I had two voicemails one for 6.18 a.m. and one for like 6, 6.27. And I didn't call back until about 7.27. So it was, you know, over an hour later. So nice thing is, is if you have, well, I'll, I'll leave it at that. 
turns out it looks like everything's going to be okay. So, with all that said, you guys, don't let any of this seniority stuff worry you. If you're here to work, you're going to be fine. Because obviously, if you're here to work, it means you're going to pick up whatever, at whatever time they call and be available and good to go. You know, get, get plenty of rest. You know, it's very important until you get yourself on a bid. I mean, of course, still get rest when you're on a bid, but at least you'll know the plan for the week, right? You know, if you're on a bid, you're on a set schedule and you're good to go. Life isn't bad as a percenter, you know, it's okay, especially once you get people under you. Life starts to get a little bit better as far as the schedule goes. So with all that said, you guys, keep on keeping on, man. You know, hashtag truck for them. Thank you for getting me to 2,000 subscribers. That's all because of you guys. So thank you very much. Pass that hashtag along. Truck for them. Mr. By the Mile, you're home for discussions based on my knowledge and experience in trucking, the red pill and survival. Take care. Stay safe. All of you truck drivers out there, new and veteran. See you on the road.